One thing about baseball games is that it's always true that the seventh inning happens after the fifth inning. <laughs> I've been struck as I've followed this crisis by how often people have said we were in the sixth inning and then two months later, a few, the same people were saying that we were in the fourth inning. So I think it's very difficult uh, to know uh, what's happening and I think there is no question that uh, the consequences are going to be felt for a long time uh, to come. It's a, essentially a certainty that the U.S. and global economies will have a recession. It's, I think, an overwhelming likelihood that it will be the most serious uh, recession in uh, more than a generation. I do think, and I don't minimize the difficulties at all, but I do think it's sometimes the habit when one views these things from a financial prism in some ways to not get an entirely accurate uh, impression uh, of them. Um, my wife and children and I live in a house. We expect to live in that house for a long time to come. Um, we like that house. We are, in a sense, you can think of us as renting it uh, from ourselves. Uh, each uh, year. It is no doubt true that that house is worth less than it was worth three or four years, uh, three or four uh, years ago. And at the margin that will affect our behavior in some way, but it's also important to remember that it's cheaper uh, the rent we pay ourselves is cheaper at the same times with that house. So not all of these financial uh, losses correspond fully uh, to pain felt by real people. At the same time, uh, and, and this is why I think one can exaggerate the financial uh, prism on this, uh, there are roughly a million fewer people working in America today than were working a year ago. Those are people without jobs. Those are people without incomes. If there was a stock market on those people, their human wealth would be deemed to have declined substantially in value. But there isn't a stock market on uh, that wealth. But from a social point of view, in terms of people's well-being, I would argue that those lost, jo those lost jobs, um, those lost opportunities to, to develop skills, those people who are going to come out of high school and aren't going to be able to get jobs and are going to do whatever you do when you, have the when you don't have the alternative of getting jobs, those are actually probably rather more serious losses from the point of view of the society than the fact that the panelists here's houses have gone down uh, in value. So I don't minimize the seriousness of the situation at all and I don't and I agree with the diagnosis that it comes centrally from developments that have taken place in the financial sector but I think it would be a mistake for us to view it uh, dominantly through the prism of finance in terms of thinking about what all of its impacts are going to be or in terms of thinking about all the measures that are necessary for its solution.